Hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Behind me I've got two wicked looking 2500 Rams straight from OzMV here in Brisbane, both being converted by them. They're both night editions. So the one good thing with OzMV is they bring in a whole different range of specs. They got the Laramies, they got the Limiteds, they got crew cabs like these two are. Got the mega cabs, you can either opt for the, the long beds, mainly in the 3500 range. But in the 2500 range, which has proven to be really, really popular here in Australia, they are a, an all-rounder, great all-rounder. You can do pretty much anything, tow pretty much anything, and we can get them dialed in at Big Dog Builds. You can see the difference between the limited headlights as well as the Laramie headlights. So there is a slight change in the two different headlights. And on both of these, we've done similar sort of stage one, good looking weekend warrior builds. This black one's a little bit more simple again. So that one's simply the 3.25 inch Carly pin top kit. It's just the base kit on this one with the, to uh, with the sway bar drops. And then it's got the electric torno on the back, the GME UHF combo. And then we've gone for the Method 305 NV matte blacks. So these are the HD wheels from Method Race Wheels Australia in an 18 by nine POS 18 with a Toyo MT. So this is a 35, 12 and a half MT tire. And then back over to the uh, granite crystal one. It's a slightly different build. So it's a 2.5 inch Carly pin top leveling kit. It's got the Bushwhacker pocket flares on this one, color coded to the vehicle with the black bolts. And then it's got the Toyo RT 35, 12 and a half 18 on some method 305 NVs. These ones are 18 by nine neg 12. So they're a little bit wider offset to fill in the flares nicely as well. So they're still rated to 1650 kilograms. Um, the HD ones on the black truck are the two ton rated method NVs. But yeah, both great looking trucks. The color coded flares match nicely to the, to the paint work. They've already got the blackout edition. If you've got an ASV Ram and you're wanting to do a similar color coding, especially this front end has a lot of chrome on them typically, we can um, paint to suit. We can get them looking like these night editions. We can play around with the badges if you've got a chrome ASV truck as well. We can um, do whatever you want when it comes to custom paint work. This one here's also got the um, electric torno on the back as well. He's got the GME XRS 80 channel UHF with the 680 mil antenna on a folding bracket on the back. But this one's got a few extra goodies that you can't really see from the outside. It's got the twin Vi-Air compressor um, tucked in nicely under the, under the bed. This is the 400C combo pack. We've then got the Airbag Man pressure control module, the key fob for the up-down controls. Um, you can simply turn the compressors on from the Switch Pro that we've done in this one as well. So the Switch Pro being the all-in-one switching unit. Uh, we've also then done the behind seat battery setup. So the 100 amp super slimline battery. It's got the Red Arc BCD C1250 charger in there. We've got the outlets in the tub as well. So you've got the Gray Anderson plug. We've got the USB ports. We've got the SIG port or the accessory port. And then we've got the solar input as well to the battery. Um, both of them have got Anderson plugs to the rear for trailer towing. This one's also got the red Anderson to the rear as well, direct to battery, which is 20 amp rated and good enough for both inlet and outlet. You just have to be careful because it is a constant powered Anderson plug. It'll only, uh, it'll be um, discharging or charging at any point. So you can plug in a solar mat with an MPPT solar controller built in. It'll trickle charge up the batteries under the bonnet while you're camping away for the weekend. And then you've got the other input there for our behind seat battery setup as well, which keeps things um, keeps the fridge running full time with no worry of running the vehicle um, battery flat as well. For the air on board that we can offer at Big Dog Builds, you've got your manual inflation airbags, whether it be a coil rear end truck like this one with the airbag helpers inside the coil. We can offer a few different ranges of airbag setups with the um, axle mount ones. And then on the 3500s, you've got the Leaf Helper airbags as well. So a few different brands that we offer depending on how your truck is built, the weights you're carrying and the use case. This one here has got the R1 Carly coils in the back with the Airbag Man coil helpers and just your simple little tabs on the back here for your air inflate and deflate. So you can go to a service station, use a bicycle pump, inflate them manually. And then when you, um, when you want to let a, a little bit of air out as well, you can use one that's a little bit more um, advanced to this $3 one from the shop. So you can simply let some air out, check the pressure that you're running. And um, we always recommend running about five PSI in the bags. So they've always got a little bit in there so you don't pinch them when you're um, off-roading and the coils are flexing. 
Um, yeah, so that's a simple airbag, the manual setup. Then we'll pop over to this one here and this has got the full twin uh, Vi-Air setup. Still got the tub, so we haven't used any of the tub space. It's got the twin Vi-Airs on the stainless steel bracket that we've made in-house underneath here. It's got the air pressure control underneath the vehicle, so you can turn the compressors on from the comfort of the driver's seat. And then you still have your manual inflation valves. They're actually tucked up nice and neat under here because you won't really need to use those ones. You've got your ARB air outlet at the back here as well. And then, like I said, this one's also got the two different Anderson plugs, your red constant one, your gray Anderson plugs, got your um, ignition relay on there. So it's only powered when the ignition's on. We've also got the safety Dave run on this one as well and the standard 12 pin plug from Oz MV. So great little combination at the back here, all tucked up nice and high. You've got the air on board so you can inflate, deflate the airbag coil helpers on this one. This one's running the leveling kit with the King's springs in the back. And then you've got the airbag man coil helpers in this as well. I'll um, get inside on these on these two rigs. We'll do a little bit of a comparison on how they drive. So this one has got the pin top leveling kit versus the 3.25. This one has slightly wider offset with the RT tires. And that one's got the slightly narrower offset, but with the MT tires from Toyo. So they're both gonna drive great, but I reckon we jump inside. I'll show you a few little differences that the inside trims have, the Switch Pro, the airbag, and how we can turn on and off the power set up in this gray one behind me as well. All right, so we're in the Granite Crystal um, Night Edition Oz MV Ram 2500 right now. This is the one with the pocket flares it's got the 18 by nine neg 12 method race wheels and it's got the carly 2.5 inch pin top leveling kit so this was the base kit for the pin top leveling kit it's got the hd rear coils in the back and we've also got the airbag man coil helper airbags as well so in the airbag man pressure control kit we do have a neat little remote here just going over a couple speed bumps a little bit firm in the back there the benefit with having the in-cab controls is on the Switch Pro, we can just turn the compressor set up on. We can then use the remote control to go both down and then up left and right. So you've got the dual channels there, left and right, up and down in the airbags in the back. The HD coils will settle in a little bit on this truck. At the moment, it's a little bit firm. We always run a fair bit of PSI in the airbags, let them sit in place for a couple of weeks and then um, always want to run five PSI in those airbags as well to, so they don't pinch when you are off-road and flexing it up. So the drivability of this vehicle compared to a standard truck is, um, yeah, it's sort of next level how much better it is, especially in the front end. The rear, like I said, with the leveling kit here in Australia, I think that it pulls up the nose on a standard truck a little bit too high. So we play around with the rear the HD King Springs with the airbags is definitely the most popular option for a vehicle that's not going too heavy. So running the running the HD coils, if you're going a canopy on a Ram 2500, it's a whole different ball game again. We tend to then do the HHD coils. Sometimes we need to add a little spacer in there as well just to get the height to match the front. But yeah, this base pin top leveling kit from Carly, the King's 2.5 remote res shocks, it's just a massive upgrade. It'll handle all of the big, the big um, bumps. Got a few speed bumps up ahead that I can hit a little bit quicker now. Al's struggling to film with these. <laughs> Talking um, about how good suspension is while taking over um, speed bumps without him knowing. But yeah, this truck definitely handles a lot better now with this lift kit in. Got the air compressor on your battery set up behind the seat on and then while you're hitting high beam the front grille light turns on as well so the benefit with the switch pro is you can see we've got a lot of spare space there if rob decides to go a roof rack you'll have left work light right work light spotlights on the front of the roof rack you've got backup lights but you've got your compressor there your battery set up behind the seat and everything's fully controlled through the switch pro app as well these carly kits in the rams are definitely um definitely out of the box will suit these, this platform perfectly. The only time we tend to do anything with the valving of the shocks is once people go a full canopy on the back. We usually run them for six, 12 months, and then I'll go in and um, revalve the shocks to suit the, the weight of the extra canopy on the back. This one is running the Toyo RT tires. 
So the difference between the RT tires from Toyo and the MT isn't actually much at all. I think they're both great tires, they perform well. The 35, 12 and a half, 18, depending on the offset, will um, clear both with the pin top leveling kit as well as the 3.25. If you're running a leveling kit with the POS 18 offset, so 18 by nine POS 18 with the 35, 12 and a half, 18 mud terrain tire, there is a chance that you need to do a slight little bit of trimming near the mud flap area. Uh, we're working on uh, front mud flaps as we speak as well, so it's definitely something that is needed for our roads. A lot of touring, a lot of dirt will splatter up the sides. This has got the factory electric side steps being the limited from OzMV. So if you don't have the, um, the normal ram steps, the bulky ones out the side, a lot of dirt and everything will flick up um, and hit the side of the vehicle as well. So we do recommend doing paint protection film on the trucks. We're even doing double layers on the sills on the side of the vehicles as well, which is definitely helping with stone chips. You can then simply rip off a layer of PPF every year if you wanted to and um, add an extra layer there, which will help um, protect the vehicle for the next year. So great driving vehicle. Another handy accessory that's very common here in Australia is your UHF. So the benefit with the GME XRS UHF is they've got loads of features. We can wire them both um, constant power or ignition powered as well. You've got your 80 channels there, 40 here in Queensland's the highway channel. All the truckies use that one. It's good to have that as an alert if there's any crashes up ahead while you are traveling. If you're traveling in a convoy with others, you can use these things to stay safe, stay alert, and see if there's any um, changes up ahead with it. Whereas a lot of rain on the roads, we get a lot of um, blocked roads here when there is storm season. So having a UHF on board, if not, get a portable pack as well. The GME brand's definitely our pick. These things have got that many features on them. I say it in a few different videos, but I still haven't played around with all of it. Um, I'm pretty basic when I use these things, but I know a lot of people like to get in. You can save commands, you can listen, you can um, replay old voice messages that come through. Here we go. One of the truckies is playing a bit of, um, a bit of radio through it at the moment. So. Staying on these popular channels um, definitely can get cluttered with, um, with voice, but choosing a channel, you can jump online and see which channels um, you can use in a convoy. There are some repeater channels, so you need to avoid those ones. There's a few emergency channels as well. And then you've got your national highway channels on there. Um, 40 here in Queensland is definitely the most popular choice. So good little accessory to add to all of your builds. We can um, do a few different locations. Some people like the passenger um, using the UHF so you don't have to do it while you are driving. The handy thing with the GME is really easy to use. You don't even have to look down at it. It's got the microphone on there as well. You simply um, hold the button on the side to talk and yeah, that's it, done, easy as. Here we are in the black Laramie OzMV Night Edition truck. So this is the 3.25 inch Carly pin top kit. It is just the base kit on this one. We've got the um, front coils, your King Shocks 2.5 remote resis, both front and back. Um, in the 3.25 inch kit, you've also got radius arm drops just to keep that front end aligned. And you have to either do the torsion sway bar or the sway bar drops. So this one, we've just done the sway bar drops. And in the rear end of this one, you've got the choice between the R1 coils from Carly or the R2 coils. R1 coils are this your standard rate um, the R2s, I think, are about the 300 kilo plus. Um, so yeah, R1 coils in the back of this one, airbag man coil helpers, and in the rear you've also got the um, sway bar end links, as well as the track bar drop for the rear as well. So both kits, being the 2.5 pin top and the 3.25, have also got the handbrake relocation tabs for the Ram 2500. Um, yeah, but this one here drives amazing. The Ram from OzMV has also got a, cool, a few cool features. So you do get a lot of different options through OzMV for um, entertainment systems. You've got different trim packages, you've got sunroofs. You can, they've all got all sorts of um, features coming in on different trucks. This one here has got you a cool little um, surround camera setup. You've got all your different options you can look at. And then it's also got the um, it's also got the auxiliary camera there as well for if you do have a trailer on the back. You can also look at the reverse guidance here as well. You can move the cameras both left and right while you're reversing. Make sure you can see everything with the trailer on the back as well, which is pretty handy. And then you can select the both 
with a back um, bed camera, as well as a rear tailgate one, but that only stays on for a few seconds. So some cool um, features here with an Oz MV truck, comparing it to Ram Trucks Australia, which is a base model. Um, you've got your auxiliary camera input there for the camera on the back of the trailer as well. So you do need to run a Mopar trailer camera kit for this one to be working. Um, obviously we've got nothing on the back now, so it'll just show a blue screen. So this truck's running the Toyo MT, so the 35, 12 and a half, 18 MT tyre. The difference between the RT and the MT, there is a tiny little bit more road noise there, but I think out of the mud terrain tyres, the Toyos are definitely um, one of the quietest on the market. And if you are in a situation where you need that extra tread, having the mud terrain is obviously a benefit there as well. So 3.25 kit drives amazing. Um, we dial them in really, really nice here. This one hasn't got a lot of weight in the back, so the R1 coil from Carly is definitely um, all that's needed with the Airbag Man helper kit there as well. It's um, yeah, definitely a good, good riding combo all around. If you're interested in the 3.25 inch Carly kit, we can fit 37s on these ones as well. You've got all your different optional upgrades with your radius arms, your torsion sway bar, high mount, low mount steering stabilizers as well. And then we can play around with the rear end to suit the weight that you're intending to carry. If you're doing a heavy um, tow as well, we can set up multiple different airbag options. This one, like we displayed on the outside, has just got the um, manual inflation for the air tabs there for the airbag man coil helpers. But we can go and install air on board. You can install um, compressors with the Switch Pro to turn them on and off. We can yeah, do whatever you want for these platforms. So if you've got one on order, you're interested in them, get in touch today. I look forward to hearing from you. We've got plenty of time this year to get you in.